Developing right now shockwaves in Antioch after a bombshell announcement from the chief of police. He is stepping down after just nine months on the job. And it comes just before what many call a critical point in the ongoing federal investigation involving racist text messages. Today in the base, Ginger Conahero Saab joins us live this morning. And Ginger, the timing is now raising a lot of eyebrows. That's right. Good morning, Laura and Kira, specifically because it's happening just 48 hours before Chief Ford and other officers are expected to testify at a critical hearing on Friday involving those racist text messages that were exchanged by Antioch police officers. As mentioned, there is an ongoing FBI investigation looking into that. But Chief Ford's announcement comes after another round of racist text messages and homophobic text messages were made public some aimed at the chief himself. Now, the first batch of racist text messages were made public back in April by the district attorney involving some of the same Antioch officers. The chief has not given the reason behind his decision, but says he is proud of what they've accomplished and firmly believes the groundwork has been laid for organizational success. Now, he adds he sincerely hopes engagement with the community will continue and flourish. The announcement comes as a surprise to community leaders who were hoping Ford's leadership would signal a turning point for their city. Even Antioch Mayor Lamar Thorpe says he has not spoken with the chief about his decision and was surprised by it. We'll just have to continue to move forward uh, as we've been moving forward. We've got a city manager coming up. We've got uh, other key leadership positions for the city that are coming up. So we'll have to add this to the list of uh, things that we'll be working on. He was our only hope and the fact that he's only been there for less than nine months, it shows that this police department is falling and it's in turmoil and it needs urgent help. The chief has not responded yet to questions about his announcement and Friday's hearing specifically. Speaking of that hearing, five of the 15 officers who were subpoenaed have been excused because of, quote, industrial injuries. That is also something that has puzzled attorneys that are working on that case. Now, we are expecting to hear from Chief Ford himself later today. East County NAACP, who's also working closely with the chief, says that they'll be having a press conference to address his retirement as well. So a lot more happening today. We'll be keeping a close eye on that in this developing story. Back to you, Laura and Kira. All right.